Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal will be recommending to President Ram Chandra Podel tomorrow the name of Nepali Congress parliamentarian N.P. Saud for the post of Foreign Minister. The hasty move is taking place as the Prime Minister's India visit nears. Although the Premier will be adding another minister to the Council of Ministers tomorrow, it is expected that the government will get full shape only after the April 23rd by-elections. Good evening, I'm Abhude Shrestha and these are the headlines of the hour. The government, influenced by interest groups, provides tax concessions to business persons of more than 121 billion rupees. The Office of the Attorney General raises questions on the issue. The mechanism formed to coordinate between the three tiers of government inactive, provincial and local level governments, dissatisfaction with the government, federal government keeps rising. Nepali Congress decides to send the name of NP Saud for foreign minister. Oath-taking ceremony scheduled for 3 p.m. tomorrow. Five ministries still vacant. And Jalakal Thump Manang Marshang the 3-0 to climb to the top of the A-Division League points table. NRT and Machindra settle for a draw. Kumultar defeat Trivon Army 3-2. Tax is the most reliable source of government revenue. However, tax concession on various occasions has affected the state coffers. The Office of the Attorney General has raised questions regarding tax commission, the concession of more than 121 billion rupees provided by the government. At a time when the government revenue has failed to cover current expenses, the government provided tax concession of 121.81 billion rupees in the last fiscal year. The government provided, has provided tax concession to traders and business persons under political influence against the Financial Act. The general public and public representatives have not been informed why the tax concession is being provided. The report of the Office of the Attorney General has suggested to inform the public representatives if tax concession is to be provided. The Office of the Attorney General has questioned the lack of inclusion of basis and clarification report for providing tax concessions, not informing the Parliament about the same, among other issues. Likewise, the government has failed to clarify the contributions of tax concession on production of goods employment opportunities and increase in investment. In the previous fiscal year, the government provided concession of 97 billion 300.2 million rupees in customs and 24 billion 500.2 million rupees in internal tax concession. Likewise, tax dues have reached 247 billion rupees. It has been almost six years since federalism was implemented in the country. However, the state mechanism has yet to be mobilized to strengthen the federal system. Entities that resolve issues between the federal, province and local level as well as inter-province council have remained inactive. Disputes between all three tiers of government have intensified amid lack of initiatives to coordinate and solve issues. Laws were formulated two years ago with a view to maintain correlation between the three tiers of government. The chief ministers and local level public representatives are members of the National Coordination Council, which is chaired by the Prime Minister. However, the mechanism is yet to hold its meeting. Likewise, the meeting of the Inter-Province Council, which is also chaired by the Prime Minister, has not been held after the formation of the current government. The council resolves issues between the federal and the provincial governments and formulates new plans. Disputes have remained intact regarding the management of workforce and distribution of resources as such as crucial as such a crucial mechanism has remained inactive. Furthermore, the lower levels have become disgruntled as the council has failed to formulate various laws. In our public voice segment today, we have asked people in several provinces regarding the trend of initiating projects and leaving them stranded. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't 
Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal will be recommending the name of Nepali Congress leader N.P. Saud for the post of the Foreign Minister. Nepali Congress President Sher Badur Deva had turned in the name of Parliamentarian Saud to the Prime Minister today. Preparations are being made for Saud to take the oath of office in secrecy tomorrow after the Prime Minister recommends his name to the President tomorrow itself. The office of the President has informed that the oath-taking ceremony has been scheduled for 3 p.m. tomorrow. Prime Minister Dahal is appointing the Foreign Minister ahead of his upcoming visit to India. According to Premier Dahal's political advisor Haribol Gajrel, preparations are being made for the Prime Minister to visit India by early May next month. Dahal, who, ha who was appointed Prime Minister on 25th of December last year, still hasn't been able to give full shape to the government. Even after appointing the Foreign Minister, Premier Dahal will still be keeping the health, law, forest, sports and drinking water ministries with himself. The remaining ministers will likely be decided after the April 23rd by elections. It's time now for our segment Public Pulse where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. But before that, let's take a look at the results from yesterday's poll. Yesterday we had asked you, why have arrears of the country been piling up every year? 38% voted for A, no good governance. 55% voted for B, lack of accountability, and 7% voted for C, poor monitoring. And here's today's question. Why have incidents of breaching the election code of conduct not been controlled? Your options are A, weak election commission, B, dominating nature of parties, and C, lack of discipline. The voting is on, type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. It's time now for the sports news. Sports news. Jawalikal Youth Club thumped eight-time champions Manang Mashangdi Club 3-0 to climb to the top of the Martyrs Memorial A Division League points table. In the match played at the Chasel Ground in Lalitpur today, Jawalikal took an early lead as Masobi scored, making good use of the cross provided by Sunil Kharka. Jawalikal were up 1-0 in regulation time, but added two more goals in injury time to seal the 3-0 win. Unmarked, Fode Fofana scored through a header in the first minute of added time, utilizing a cross from Samiraz Tokar. Three minutes later, Masobi found the net in the, with the assist provided by Tokar. It was Masobi's sixth goal of the ongoing season. With the win, Jaulakil Youth Club have reclaimed the top spot of the league table. Jaulakil have secured 17 points from nine matches with five wins and two draws. Manang Mashangdi are in the third spot with 15 points. In other A Division League matches played today, New Road Team NRT and defending champions Machindra Football Club settled for a one all draw, while Kumaltar Youth Club defeated Trivun Army Club 3 2. And it's time now for the weather update.
that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good night.